Hey, what's up, everybody? Choose here. It is almost uh, 8 o'clock uh, Chicago time, 8 p.m. Um, I have DiGiorno. Uh, this must be some kind of a supreme pizza. It's got pepperoni and sausage and uh, green and red peppers and I think some black olives. And part of it is uh, burnt a little bit like this part. That you can you see it? Yeah, it's kind of burnt. Um, I may eat it <laughs> anyway. Um, I've got a little bit of Arizona fruit punch left and uh, flavored water. Uh, tonight I'm gonna do grape and um, some salad. My kale salad with the Brussels sprouts and all that good stuff. I did put croutons in at this time with mm, cranberries, a pumpkin seeds in here, and uh, bacon. I have the worst um, sinus pressure headache happening right now. So, and plus I haven't eaten since um, probably 10 o'clock, so I'm definitely hungry. Um, let's have a little bite. And this pizza, I feel like I should have, it came in that black pan, that black uh, kind of, you know, pan or whatever, but I should have... Um, I really should have taken it out of the pan and then um, just cooked it directly on the rack because it's really soft. And I got some Wingstop Ranch dressing I'm going to dip in here too. I don't typically buy... Um, oh, shut up. I don't typically buy uh, DiGiorno either. DiGiorno. I knew you were going to fall in there. I'm always having issues with my food. I had a little bit of heartburn earlier, too, and I hope, I mean, this can't, this couldn't possibly help it, but. to make a point to look and uh, I I want to do if I have enough time I'll do a Dollar Tree haul the bag is right here if I have enough time But that also means that if I do have enough time, you guys will have to stay. You have to forward through, forward to, or skip through that part of the video. Mm. So today's day was, um, I had the day off, but I didn't know that the impeachment, he impeachment hearings were on, so I kind of spent most of the morning watching that. I know, boring, boring, boring. But it was, I thought it was interesting.
Mm. Then I kept thinking, um, I need to get a few things from the store and then it dawned on me later in the afternoon, I want to go to the Dollar Tree. So I went, but I discovered there's a Dollar Tree much closer to me than the one I had been going to. Had the same shit. Ran out of the same shit, but I just got a few things. So it's not a lot. Oh, come on. Come on. Are you going to drown in there, too? Fuck. One of the things I got from there that I won't be able to show you in the hall is a um, a USB cable cord thing. I didn't think they would have those at the Dollar Tree. Um, I took it out just to see how it would charge. And I mean, it charges, but it just charges slowly. And actually, it doesn't even fit all the way in my, there might be something in my phone, some kind of blockage or something. But at any rate, It was only a dollar. Well, if I don't use it, no big deal. I feel like there is a a little brush thing, something just small enough and flat enough to fit inside of where you would plug the, the cable in. And if you got any like trap dust in your phone or something, you can get it with that little small device. But I don't know. The closest thing I found to something uh, like that is a um, something for teeth. You know, the pizza is good, but. I really want to crunch on it, you know, on the crust. Even this one that's um, kind of burnt, kind of, it is burnt. The crust underneath is really soft. I almost want to eat the burnt part. In fact, I think I'm going to do it. this whole thing though mm -mm. let me <laughs> let me show y'all this see how the bottom is soft <gasps> oh excuse me but that's the top part mm. 
This will be kind of crispy. Mm-hmm. It's about as good as it's gonna get with the crunch. It's okay though. Mm. Mm. It's been in my mouth. Actually, oddly enough, it's good. Mm. I think I have some water before the video. Which is probably why I'm getting stuff now. I don't know what that noise is, but I hear it every now and then. I'm sure the mic is probably picking it up, and then it stops. poppy seed dressing on this. Sorry that you can't see me pouring it, but I don't know that I'm doing any more of that pizza. I think I'm done with that pizza. It's, it was good, but like I said, I had water and um, I really don't want to exacerbate the heartburn further. There was a guy, I was waiting on the bus to go home tonight. There was a guy, he had on, black dude, he had on, um, you know those workout, um, those tight leggings that, that the, you know, they wear when people go to work out. I don't want to call them tights, but you know, they're like skin tight. They were black and gray, had them on, and I was eyeing them down, you know. Decent build, you know. I was eyeing them down, and I kept imagining all these different scenarios. Like, what if I came up to them? But what would I say? But he was standing a few feet away from me. On his phone. I guess he was waiting on the bus, but I couldn't tell if he was waiting for an Uber or a bus. And he kept turning my way. Didn't really um, smile or anything at me, but he kept turning my way. And um, I'm sure he saw me looking at him. And then he moved a little closer to me, but in front of me so that I was directly behind him. And I was thinking to myself, is this, am, am I supposed to be picking up on something here? 
sometimes that's my problem. Sometimes I don't know. I know when some people are doing it, but sometimes... And I'm not saying that that's what he was doing. The bus was not coming yet. So I couldn't understand why he moved closer to me. Um, and then when we did catch eyes, he didn't do anything. He didn't. It was an indifferent type of a thing. And I nod. I did like one of those nods and he didn't do anything. But then when I got caught, when I really got to see him when the bus came and there was light, you know, on the bus, um, I realized it's somebody that I have seen in my travels before, but never really said anything to him. But that kind of thing happens to me a lot. Let me strike that. That's a big old lie. It doesn't happen a lot. But the whole, I think me not picking up what might have been or could have been a signal to approach or start a conversation, I don't know. But I didn't see any reason for him to move directly in front of me. He was like two or three feet ahead of me, like right at the curb. And I was, you know, just standing on my phone, occasionally looking at him to see if he catch my eye. But anyway, I'm moving on. Because I want to get to this uh, hall since it's going to be real. It's a sh I don't have much anyway. Let me move this out the way here. Make sure my pizza cutter doesn't fall. I'm gonna push this back. Wait. Okay. I have such a small space to work with. Okay. So this was the little um, micro USB cable thing that I was talking about that I already took out the box. Charge is kind of slow, just in case you're interested. Um, Got myself some big old Ajax with bleach because I needed that. I'm running low on these, these sponges, so we have the little scrub wire thing at the on one side. Got me some spick and span with mild lavender, multi multi surface cleaner. I ran out of that. Definitely had to get that. I also bought that's not in here. Um, some Parmesan, garlic, uh, Texas toast, and some French toast sticks. I hope they're not like razor thin either. But I'll put those in the freezer already. Um, Baby Ruth, I think we were all talking about different candies at some point in one of my lives, I think. And um, there's a guy that I work with that knows somebody that works for um, who makes these? Whatever the whatever the company is that makes these, I can't tell who who it is now. But at any rate, um, he was going to bring me a big giant size. Well, I guess it would be the king size uh, version of this, but he never did. So I'm, I've had a tankering for them, so I'm settled for this. Uh, got me some reusable gloves before I do my cleaning. And this. Okay, the Dollar Tree people. I feel like these things don't work. Um, I bought another brand from the Dollar Tree, and the only scent I got was um, when I opened it up. It didn't do much for the room, but... This is Forever Raspberry, Renews It. It's, I, I kind of expect it to be crappy, but if you all shop at Dollar Tree and have had some experience with this brand, just let me know in the comments. If, just confirm if I'm, if I'm right about it being kind of crappy. 
I won't get mad at you, I promise. And um, I haven't had a butterscotch in ages. And I thought, damn, why don't I have one? In fact, why don't I enjoy one now? Will they taste like I remember them tasting? I think I Well, one thing's for sure. You know it's dollar store. It's dollar store candy, baby, because it's already cracking on me. And that's something. I, I don't want no cracked one. I want to put a, a full one in my mouth. Dirty minds. Okay, it's a little butterscotch. Just like when I was a kid. Mm. I used to just devour these. I was a shorty. Very nice. A lot in here too. Saw all types of candy in there, but I just couldn't. And then I was like, you know, if I do any more gum chewing videos, I'm gonna make it something else. It's gotta be like extra or something. I think I'm done with double bubble, but they had some very interesting um, flavors in there. Um, I think I saw one, a flavor called Jelly Donut, I believe. Um, and some others. And the only thing I kept thinking was they're probably low on flavor, just like the regular, you know, double, uh, double bubble, double bubble or whatever it's called. Double bubble. But I think I'm done with those. Mm. This is so good. I hardly drank my uh, flavored water. I mix it a little bit of it in with the Arizona, though. And you guys, I really was trying to figure out what I wanted to eat. If I wanted to have this pizza, it kept calling my name. But then I was like, no, you got the mixed vegetables. You got the, the pickled beets. Uh, and I was going to have the salad with that. And I started to do a poll to let you guys pick for me. But I just went on ahead and uh, did this. Oh, Lord. When I tell you I got to take a sinus pressure medication, you better believe it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. It's supposed to be kind of like in the 40s the next few days, right? So I think one of these days, it might be tomorrow or it might be um, Friday. I'm going to see how I feel because see right now with my sinus pressure going on in my head, I kind of don't feel like I want to plan anything. Um, I want to make sure that I ain't got no like heartburn issues happening because, you know, I still got to do that Puerto Rican food video and I want to get to that restaurant within the next few days because it's going to be like in the 40s. Next week, we're going to be dipping into the 20s and even a high in the teens. I want to go ahead and get this out of the way either tomorrow or Friday. So that's something that you guys can look forward to. Um, and um, I know I'm going to have to work 7 to 4 on Saturday. So I don't know. Y'all might get a live at some point. Y'all might get a live maybe Friday night. If not Friday night, uh, definitely Sunday. I don't want to wait that long, though. Mm. Okay. But at least that's something you guys can look forward to. 
and I'm going to call this video over. That was really good. If I do a snack chat, I might just ha do one of these butterscotches. It's really, really nice. Good to have that again. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little cheap, minuscule haul. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. New subscribers, uh, welcome. And like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hope to see you soon. Y'all know I will. Okay, bye.